here's my IO simulator. We have discretes out. We have analog outs and six analog ins. I'm going to try to very quickly show you my application and why I needed to build this thing. Um, I have a PLC right here. It's going to control a site. Here's a power supply. There's a uh, Ethernet switch. These are all Ethernet devices. My laptop is connected Ethernet and so is the HMI or human machine interface here. And uh, essentially this is just reading tags out of the, out of my program. But it's challenging to troubleshoot software unless you have something like this that can simulate I.O. These, these numbers here indicate analog um, sensors that we need to be able to turn the knob over here and actually simulate that something is going on so we can see how this program is going to react. So for instance, let's take this one on the top, this suction. Um, see where it's 61. Here I'm going to go ahead and crank this all the way down. And this takes a, a there's a little delay, but we should see that uh, 61 drop down. And my my system is reacting. You can see these these analog these two analogs are coming out of my PLC, so I have a nice place to read them. Okay, on these two numbers, the top one is my suction out, bottom is my recycle out. You can see on this screen that the this is my suction valve, my recycle valve. Um, this screen is a little behind; it's not updating quite fast enough. But um, these numbers do reflect what the program's trying to do. I can see exactly what's happening in real time here. So the top 16 discretes are either push button or a rocker switch. So if you watch, see when I push the button, they will momentarily light up. Or if I rock these rocker switches up, they stay on. I'm going to flip this little switch down, flip it off. You're going to see this light's going to turn red, indicating that fluid in this vessel has gotten to the top and the program is going to close this valve. I have a multitude of discretes. There's some here on uh, vessels indicating a level. Um, these are discrete outs. This uh, display is being powered by a Arduino. On this side I have power, ground, which isn't really being used. This uh, Ethernet cable is actually just plugged into my Arduino, so I have easy access to it. Now on this side, I just have I have plugs that I can use to terminate the I/O, the discretes and analogs. Okay, let's open it up. So, Arduino, Arduino de Milanove, with a Proto Shield. Which I um, on this proto shield I soldered on the chip that runs the LCD display, the graphic LCD display. Since this box is set up to either run on 12 or 24 volts, I ended up going ahead and making my own voltage regulator power supply um, on this board um, to provide the Arduino and the um, LCD display with uh, 5 volts at all times regardless of what my input voltage is for the rest of the box. So all of my pots here, these are 10K pots and the wires come over and hit this board where these resistors are uh, pulling it up and down so that um, with the pot I get a standard 4 to 20 milliamp uh, output. And of course, my switches here, 
I have them soldered onto these boards and they pretty much just go straight out. This flashing is uh, done on purpose. I have an output here that's um, flashing at a, at a certain rate and I'm using that um, because a lot of times um, PLCs can have high-speed counters. You can see that uh, this one right here is pulsing with that high-speed counter and um, what the high-speed counters are used are for are flow meters, turbine flow meters where there's a little turbine that spins and a little magnetic pickup pulses. So the, I just went ahead and built this in because it's uh, another thing I can test. Okay, so the graphical LCD screen is this one that I bought off of Adfruit Industries. I bought it because I wanted the cheapest screen I could possibly get and um, I found out it doesn't always pay off. Um, this particular one, I, it is a beautiful screen, but um, the library was a little confusing to me. The Arduino library. And also, this screen, you see these wires come off of here, and it is driven by this chip that they um, provided. Um, and it also runs off of 3 volts, but luckily 3 volts is provided on the Arduino de Milanove, so these wires are power. These are the analogs coming in from my device into this board and they go down. You can see that I have enough stuff going on here. See these are the uh, inputs that come in and they all go down to these discrete analog input pins. Then there's these discrete pins over here that are running the chip that in turn run my LCD screen.